Hey guys, I'm Roxette Risa, and you are watching This Week in Beauty with Ipsy. I am so excited for this episode because we're gonna be talking to the one, the only, Jen Atkin, who is a celebrity hairstylist for the Kardashians. Yeah, she's gonna be telling us all about what she's been loving lately. Also, we have some hat stuff to tell you guys about and our curly haired ipsters are definitely gonna wanna stay tuned for that. Plus we're meeting our very own newest Ipsy creator, Jessica Vu. And of course we have a giveaway for you guys as we do in every single episode and music festival style roundup coming at ya. Okay, so sadly Coachella 2018 is over. Tears, tears of sadness. It was so much fun though. So I went to Coachella for only one day because I had to get back to LA for work this year, but I feel like I really embodied the look that I was going for. So I just paired like a pretty casual but festival-ish outfit and really spoofed up my hair and makeup. Well, actually not the makeup too much. I just did kind of like a bronzy, smoky eye makeup look. And then for my hair, I actually put like little stars into my hair and did like a a, almost like a braid, two braids into a bun. But it was really cute and it was such an amazing like Coachella vibe to me. I wanted to share some of my favorite looks that I saw around the Coachella grounds because what better way to celebrate Coachella than with our favorite beauty trends. So one of my favorites was obviously glitter bodies with uh, Rihanna's new products coming out. We had to do it up, you know? And everybody, everywhere I looked was shining, shimmering, glitzing in the sun, so of course I had had to include the fairy bomb inside of my Coachella favorites this year. This thing is cool because it's literally just a puff. So it's, you know, great for transporting. There's no liquid, there's no nothing. It's not gonna melt in the Coachella sun or in the heat or in any other music festivals that you might be coming up um, upon because I know Coachella is like the first one and then there's a ton more music festivals coming up. Another favorite of mine that you can do to your hair if you're not doing stars like I did is some cool hair products. So I have a couple that are kind of like like my favorites. The first is the IGK FOMO. This is brand new and it's really cool because it's actually a holographic hair foam. They do have two different shades so you can either do like a pinky shade or a, like more of a purpley green shade and it's really cool because it's actually holographic and I haven't seen any other hair products like that. Um, another product from IGK that I wanted to mention is the IGK Pre-Party. This is a glitter spray so when you take it off it does have a little spray thing. It's super easy to use. You just spray it like that and the glitter goes into your hair. And one thing that I saw a lot of people doing this year at Coachella is actually doing like space buns and then putting glitter into your part to have like a glitter part. And I thought that was really, really cute. Um, but if you do wanna go a little more drastic with your hairstyle, this is an awesome product to use. So this is the Hush Prism Malibu Pink Airbrush Spray. This actually turns your hair pink, which is pretty amazing, especially, like I said, if you wanna do something drastic for your festival but you don't want it to be too permanent and you just want to have a little bit of fun for the festivities, this is amazing. Another thing that is super fun for festival season is going back to the 90s with crimped hair. Yes, crimped hair is back in for festival season. So this is Big Crimpin and it's a hair crimper that's going to crimp your hair to your wildest desires. And like I said, I saw a lot of people rocking this and also beachy waves at the festivals. So that was definitely a big trend that I was seeing. A lot of great trends that are new to the game that I saw at Coachella, including this guy right here, which was a beauty stamp. Um, so this particular one is from Ciate London and it's called Starstruck. One side is a a normal eyeliner, but the other side is where the party happens. This has a star on the end and it's really cute because you just stamp it on and you create little patterns. And I saw a lot of people using um, products like this to create freckles. So a lot of people are doing like star freckles. They have a lot that are like hearts or even peace signs sometimes. So these products are so cool because I feel like Coachella or any music festival that you go to is the perfect like way to use a product that you may not normally use on an everyday basis. And this was actually in our April glam bag and I got it in my April glam bag, which I was so excited about. Another thing 
that was very exciting that I saw people rocking this year for the first time ever is actually glitter freckles. So this product is really cool for glitter freckles. This is the Tarte Mermaid Glitter Gel, and it's actually a little gel just like this. It's almost like iridescent clear, so you can just take some, rub it onto your skin, and when you rub it onto your cheeks here, it literally looks like your freckles are made of glitter, which is pretty much my wildest desires. Tell us down below what your favorites were, what was your style, did you go to Coachella, did you enjoy yourself? We wanna know in the comment section, and also if you're going to any upcoming music festivals. We all love Jen Atkin, right? I am so obsessed with like her style, her products, her lifestyle. Pretty much, you could say I am uh, way into her. Let's see what Jen is way into at the moment. Hi, I'm Jen Atkin, founder and creator of Way Hair Care. You're watching This Week in Beauty with Ipsy. And here are my seven things I'm way obsessed with. My favorite hair trend right now is really healthy hair. I love like a good glossy blowout and maybe some rose hair and body oil to really like catch the light. I feel like the makeup look I'm feeling the most would be kind of a French makeup vibe. I only know how to do a cat eye, so I do it every single day. The nail color I cannot live without right now is Bare Nude. I do so much hair, there's no point in me trying to keep a manicure. So my favorite coffee order would be a matcha iced green tea latte from Coffee Bean. My most used emoji, let me look and see. Oh, there's a devil face, there's fire, there's a CD, and there's a diamond. That makes sense. The TV show I've most recently binged on would be Real Housewives. I'm almost caught up on the last season of Beverly Hills. The hair product that's given my clients the most luscious locks would probably be Dry Texture Foam. I've had a can in my kit for about a month and everybody's obsessed with it no matter what their hair type is. If you want to see my tips for festival hair, make sure you tune in to Ipsy's main event linked in the description below. I'm definitely picking up on those French girl vibes she's putting out there. So tell us in the comment section, what are you guys way into at the moment? You know how every girl with straight hair wants curly hair and every girl with curly hair wants straight hair? Yeah, the struggle is definitely real. And something I never really thought about is how it's difficult for our curly haired friends to wear a lot of hats, but luckily Tress actually designed a hat specifically for this issue and our friend Sierra put it to the test. Hey guys, so I'm trying out this hat for 48 hours from Tress. And this cute patent little leather look here, or leather look, uh, it's developed for people specifically with curly hair. What I'm noticing, it has this like satiny silk material inside of it, so I'm assuming that is to prevent breakage and frizz. Cute little bands back here, it's not gonna pull on anything. I just went on a run. My head is really hot. I don't know if that has to do with the lining, but um, maybe this isn't the best for cardio. So I just went and got ice cream, as one does, at 11 p.m. at night. And that was perfect, because I'm not wearing makeup, and I don't really want to look at anyone in the eye. I just want to keep my, like, J-Lo vibes. But let's see how my hair does post head makeup. All right. Not bad. So today I have more textured waves. I had a shoot and this is how they did it. I'll let you know how it goes after I take this hat off. I think my favorite part about this Tress hat is I'm wearing this out tonight. I've gotten so many compliments on this hat tonight. It's kind of insane. So overall, this hat, it's super cute. I've gotten so many compliments on it. I love that I can wear it to work out in something low impact. I'm not gonna run in it because it does get very hot. I do love the inside, the satin silk stuff, so it keeps my hair from getting frizzy. And the cool thing is you're able to choose your size. It definitely still smashes my hair because it's a hat, but I'm missing the frizz, I'm missing flyaways once I take it off, so I could just poof it up and still be cute. Thanks, Sierra. That hat is so cute. So curly haired Ipsters, definitely let us know what you think in the comment section. Would you wear it? Would you rock it? Do you think it's gonna help? Let us know. All right, guys, so for today's Creator Corner, we have our newest Ipsy creator, Jessica Vu. So do you wanna tell our audience anything? Um, hello, my name is Jessica Vu. I do makeup on my channel at Jessica Vu, so you can check my stuff out there if you want to. And I'm also on Instagram at Jessie Lux. 
Yeah, so we're gonna do a little Q&A here to introduce you guys to our newest Ipsy creator. So where are you from? I know you just moved to LA, so where did you move from? I moved from Florida, so literally Fun. across the, in the entire country. What are you most excited about, like joining the Ipsy family and becoming an Ipsy creator? Well, actually, I started my channel because I wanted to be part of a community of beauty lovers. So that's why I'm really excited about being part of Ipsy's family because everybody loves makeup here, so. so who are some YouTubers that you love to follow? Um, I really love Jackie Ina. I love how she's so confident in herself mm -hmm. and how she presents herself. Yeah, I like, um, I also like some makeup artists from around the world, so like Pony Effect as well. I like to look at um, sort of towards Asia and I like to mix it with Western beauty standards. And totally. then just like, yeah. I can see that. <laughs> okay, so let's do some beauty trivia. What is your favorite part of your beauty regime? Okay, I know this is really weird, but I really like applying falsies. What? <laughs> so that is so <laughs> random. Yeah. I've never heard anyone yeah. say that. So I, what do you like about it? Yeah, I just love how it dramatic like the changes, like from one eye to another, you I know? I could see that, I could yeah. see that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so if you were on a deserted island and you could only use one makeup product for the rest of your life, what would you use? Concealer. Yeah, I was I was gonna say the same <laughs> yeah. thing. Yeah, same thing. Like, well, like I don't know about deserted island, but like for the rest of my life, because I could get my eyebrows microbladed and I could get like lash extensions. But then <laughs> she's trying to hack her way through this <laughs> question, basically. Because like, like with concealer, you have different shades too, so you yeah. can contour, you can blush. Oh, she is really hacking her way through this question <laughs> yeah. right now. Do you have any advice for somebody who's like just getting started with makeup? Well, I think. Being part of com a community like Ipsy's, I think that's like um, something that would help you with getting started with makeup because you can share your ideas with one another. So. Totally. Okay, so we have to ask you about your hair because it's so beautiful. <laughs> so this is her natural hair. She's not wearing hair extensions. When was the last time you got your hair cut? Like, how long have you been growing your hair up? That's what I want to know. So at the beginning of 2016, it was like, I got it cut here and I like cried for a month. I was <gasps> but like, that's how my hair is. Oh my I know, God. It looked really bad on me though. <laughs> like, it was so bad on me. But yeah, then I grew it out for like a year and then it was around this length. So I've been trying to maintain it around this length. Make sure to follow Jessica on Instagram at Jessie Lux and on YouTube, Jessica Vu is her channel. Yeah, make sure to check out my channel for my April Glam Bag video. Thank you guys for all the amazing submissions we got in last week's Fluid contest. Here was our favorite look. It is so cute. I love it so much. And this week we have a very special giveaway as well. So we're gonna be giving away the Blush and Whimsy Magical Color Changing Lipstick that we featured on the show before, as well as Benefits Dallas Blush, which is one of my personal favorites. So all you have to do to win is share with us your favorite hack for getting the most out of makeup. So what do you do with your makeup when you're almost out? but you don't want to purchase anything else new. Do you heat up your mascara tubes with warm water? What are your best hacks for saving money on makeup and getting the most out of your products? Let us know in the comments. Make sure to use the hashtag Ipsy News Hacks when you're leaving your comments so that we see your entries. That is it for us today. Thank you guys so much for joining us and you have to tune in next week. I'm so excited because my really good friend Seppi is coming on the show to show us a little bit about microblading. We're actually gonna be doing a demo on camera of one of our Ipsy staffers getting her eyebrows microbladed. So you're gonna definitely want to subscribe and tune in for that. Thank you guys so much for watching This Week in Beauty. I'm Roxette Arisa and we'll see you next time. Bye.